Alright guys, Parker Olson here. I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to use the uh, price list editor that's coming in X1. The current method of uh, editing price list that's in Xactimate 28 is being done away with. Um, and this is the new, the new X1 way to do it. This is just going to be an overview video. We're going to go through everything real quick and I'm going to show you everything that can be done. Um, and then I'm going to make a series of videos that are going to show um, how to do each individual thing, but this one's just going over it real quick. All right, so first off, I'm going to show you this remove Xactware price list elements. The very first time that you log in, it's going to say import Xactware price list elements. It says remove because I've already imported them. You're going to show zero and zero over here. So once you import them, this is what you'll get. From there, what we'll do is go over to the market pricing. You'll hit this little plus here to create a market. Um, these are markets that I have already created here. And then there's a few things that you can go with those markets that you've created right here, this factor markets button that's on the home screen. You can use that to do a 10, 20, 30% factor on all the items in the price list. Um, I don't recommend it, but it is an option that they make available to you. Another thing that you can do is go in here to the item pricing. Um, if you have a specific item that you I uh, want to adjust, like bat insulation is one that I typically find low, then you can actually come in here and adjust the price for a specific item. I don't recommend that either. There's much better ways to do it, and I'll show you here in a minute. But it is an option that they make available to you again. So a better way to make those adjustments rather than affecting just one line item, a lot of times you can come in and look at the components. So if we stick with the insulation, if I go to uh, materials and look for that same uh, component in here, so this is R19, 2x6 walls, craft faced um, bat insulation, something that I use a lot uh, after flood cuts on exterior walls. So you can see when you go to this component, these are all the items that that affected. So there's actually two items in the price list that are affected by this component. So if I had just changed the single item, um, then the other items price wouldn't have been updated here in the component list if I change the material price then it is going to um, I don't know I can't think of the word for it cascade into the rest of the items that use that component so this is a better way to do it um, you can also adjust um, equipment rental rates um, you can adjust uh, labor rates for different category codes so here are some of the different category codes here. Um, you can go through and adjust them. This sync button, when you see it, once you start changing stuff, don't hit it. It'll make it go back to the, to the default price. Um, these are all rates you're going to have to figure out within your own company. I am not going to tell you how or what to price things at all um, in any way, shape, or form. You have to come up with your own pricing in your company based on your own market conditions and your own company um, overhead, labor burdens, everything is specific to you. So you're going to have to come up with that. So along with that, you can actually go in here and you can change um, all your percentages of your insurance that you have, um, unemployment, everything really. You can also come in here and look at these. You can change your um, workers' compensation rates. So Funny thing, when you're going through your water category stuff, there is no WTR category code um, for labor. It's this clean-R, cleaning remediation technician. So a little bit odd, you go in here. This has been adjusted. This is not the default one that it comes up with. It comes closer to a cleaning technician workers' compensation rate. Um, I think everybody knows that in mitigation, a lot of what we do is demolition labor. So typically it's, it's closer to this figure um, for water technicians. So you can come in here and adjust that to whatever your workers' compensation rate that you use based on the code and your state and everything. So I'll show you guys how to make your own uh, line items. So con room is something that we do all the time. Content manipulation, move in and out of room. There is no after hours con room line item, so I just go ahead and, and make one. You can see this is a custom line item. 
uh, content to move out and reset after hours. So I'll show you how to make uh, any line item you want. Really. So I'm also going to show you how to make your own uh, categories. Here's one that I made for mold related work. I just called it MLD. Um, this is just for an example for this video. Hydrogen peroxide is something that we use a lot doing uh, mold work in my company and so I made a category for it and made a uh, line item for it. So I'll show you how to how to do that too. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how to publish it and also how to get into Xactimate desktop version and download the price list that you just made. Um, so that way you can start using it on all of your estimates. So if you want to see these videos as I make them, then you're going to have to like my page, subscribe to my channel, whatever media platform you're watching this on, um, follow it so that way you can see these videos as they come out, figure out how to use this price list editor and make your company more profitable.